I'll say some things that are spoilers that you will, for everyone, reveal when it's right. 100%. Right? I think we have some unfinished business to talk about. Let's talk a little bit more about love. Is she a match for Joe in some way? Is she a worthy adversary, a mental foe? How would you describe her? She is, theoretically, a perfect match because she wants to see somebody the way that Joe wants to be seen and vice versa. Wait, what did I just say? She wants to see somebody who, <laughs> the way Joe wants to be seen <laughs> and vice versa. That's actually true. Yes, okay. yes it is. It is. They both want to be seen. They both actually, you, you understand more and more. She has a mania there too. And so here's the spoiler part that once you understand why love is the way she is mm -hmm. and who she actually is, you realize that there is no perfect match for Joe. Because mm -hmm. actually, he's found her. But, see, but that's the thing, it's like we are too accustomed to being like, if she didn't find the box, they'd be together. Like, no! He was always gonna, you know, with the first season, like that was always gonna happen. People like Joe cannot receive what they want because they want something impossible. It's not just. I feel like when we see what love's character mm -hmm. is, then, then it's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Like yeah. he did find his soulmate, and he and he turned her into a villain in but a he's... split second. You did it again, didn't you? The big twist in episode nine. Mm -hmm. Everybody's gonna freak out about this. Is she a serial killer? Is she on Joe's level? How did you react to finding out that she was a murderer too? I knew that she was mm -hmm. the whole time, but I didn't know that Joe would then hate her for it. I. The thing that got me through episodes one through eight was like, I mean, at least, at least he's got somebody, you know, <laughs> you know, because J playing Joe is just a, it's a really, it can be a really isolating and intense thing uh, for five and a half months at a time, right? Because yeah, for me, it's not so much that she's a killer, because it's like, okay, yeah, theoretically they're the same, but but then it's like, oh, but then he, but then he, he denies her, which again brings up this kind of the archetypes of man and woman yeah. and how, you know, the oppression of women, the inequality of men and women, this, this is, this is the, th this is actually why you don't actually really have that many female serial killers. It's like there's something, ha and I mean, I don't have any PhDs, I don't know, but it's like, there's something there. Mm. There's something to that. There's something to the fact that men behave the way they do and women tend to not do the same thing. <laughs> so what is that? I don't know, but I feel like that's, that's what we see is that she, doesn't appear to be the same kind of person. She doesn't appear to be the same kind of predator. She doesn't appear to be the same kind of, you know, dare I say, I think mm -hmm. in the third season, and the, oh God. Well, let's talk about <laughs> it, yes. That's the, I don't know, that's the I don't door know. I, wanted to I, walk I literally through. know nothing about the third season. Well, we're gonna get a third season. I mean, I, technically I can't, I mean like unofficially, <laughs> but I'm not the person who can say anything official. So he's left with this pregnant, Woman looking out the window. What is Joe looking for? Another victim? He Joe, will never stop? Joe's looking for something that he can't. I mean, so the way that I understand these things is that no one is born a sociopath or psychopath. Mm -hmm. Maybe, the, maybe the, the world of medicine hasn't decided definitively, but I'll go ahead and say that. We're not born that way, we're made that way. We're, we're, made, we're made that way by the, by the life we then receive, the education we receive, parents, environment, whatever. So. I think Joe is looking for that which was taken from him as a child. It's hard to have a fresh start when the past is on your mind. There is a gore factor though. I there think is, yeah. More so than the first season. I think, honestly, a lot of what we did, I think they edited it out. I, I, when I saw this, I, there's probably this particular sequence you're thinking of mm. from the second episode. A lot of blood. When I saw it, I was like, oh, they kind of, they kind of really reeled back on that one. It was an, if, what was Man. that like to film? We had this very large prosthetic body oh. <laughs> with limbs and everything, no no head, and it was so real looking and feeling. And I was also covered in fake blood, which is very sticky because it's full of sugar, right? Little fact. Um, so when I was wrestling with this prosthetic body, which has on it, Human hair, real human hair, individually applied to the. Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, I don't really know. You guys want to watch it? I'm not. I didn't do it. I didn't, like. I didn't. I'm just the actor. Um. <laughs> so between every take, I had was covered in oh. sticky sugar red blood, and you know countless human hairs that were not mine. Actually, 
I don't know whose they were. Yeah. Stuck to my forearms, uh, you know, like, oh. um, so that was interesting. After something like that, do you feel a little dark? How do you unwind when you go home? Do you have to watch an episode of a sitcom or something? No, I mean, for I've always said, I mean, for me, it's like it's meditation and prayer yeah. profound. You know, but I actually, I don't struggle with it in the way that you would think. I don't, for me, I leave Joe behind yeah. when they say cut. You know, w maybe within reason, but for me, I just, I think about all these other things, like mm -hmm. these conversations we're having, like, damn, why we want to watch this so much? <laughs> like, this is, <laughs> it's intense. What would you like to see happen to Joe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> I, I mean, is it possible? Is it, is it, would it be even appropriate? Like, let's say Joe could somehow go through all these experiences where he could be, where, where we could all be like, I think he uh, deserves, I think he deserves something better now, you know? Like, I, I'm not sure that that's possible. So I think, what does Joe need? Joe needs, Joe needs, oh, Joe, Joe needs justice, but what does that mean? Like, yeah. does that mean prison? Does that mean death? I don't know. Maybe he needs to get murdered? We don't know, okay. He, he, in, he inevitably will be, right? I mean, he has to be. How else would this end? How else would it end? <laughs> okay. Could you do this for many more seasons, or is it a lot? It's not up to me. <laughs> okay. um, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I think like, it'll, Okay. Yeah, my lips are sealed on that. Maybe I should run, but I don't want to.